River. December. Because we uh, demolished the third member. Made it about 10, 11 miles, and then the third member destroyed itself. Uh, my fault, lack of prep. Third members don't last forever, <clears throat> even if they're 10 inch. More skinny than more power. Uh -huh. So, our buddy Eric got us set up with a set of uh, 543 10 inch motor pro gears. Um, I was going to run 529s, but that was my fault because I texted him wrong and I thought <laughs> I thought I told him 529s, but because I've been running 543s forever, it was, I guess, just instilled in my mind to order the same thing uh, 543s. So we're running 543s. Um, AJ with Evan Weller got us set up with all the bearings and I machined uh, a seal guard, I guess, for the uh, 35 spline uh, pinion, I guess, seal. <laughs> so uh, I ended up rebuilding the third member myself. I've done them in the past when I had a 9 inch and uh, had good luck with that, but uh, this was my first time doing a 10 inch, so I, uh, AJ gave me a lot of information and my buddy Kyler, but uh, my buddy Kyler at RDE let me uh, clean everything up at his shop and mag check all the parts to make sure everything was good. Uh, third member got a clean bill of health, no issues, so we're good on that no um got it all together started pulling the hubs apart just to check uh, make sure that the bearings were good material from the gears ended up reaching the hubs so we replaced all those bearings rebuilt the hubs uh, so basically the rear ends pretty much brand new except for the jumbo 36 axles um I did put those on the lathe and polished them because uh, they had a few little nicks in them, but not nothing major. So uh, we should be good to go. So we're heading out to Johnson Valley because uh, we're gonna meet up with Taylor. With High Desert. Um, High Desert off road, and then we're gonna meet up with our buddy Jason. And Chase is actually meeting Taylor out there to tune his shocks. So we're gonna use this opportunity just to put miles on the truck because we don't have many miles on the truck with the new motor. And we gotta run the third member through its heat cycles. So, um, and just break in all the bearings and everything. We're gonna bring the truck back after this trip and just make sure everything's good. And we might go out one more trip, but um, I guess that's dependent on how this trip goes. So we're getting ready to race uh, Battle at Prim, which is in about four weeks. I think so, April 12th, 11th through 12th. Yeah, April 10th, 11th through 12th. So that being said, we're just going to try to put some miles on the truck. Uh, we brought our son, Little Man, with us. Uh, the other two kiddos, <laughs> one of them couldn't come because he's still a baby. <laughs> And then our daughter uh, decided to not come on this trip because it's going to be cold out here. It's going to take it easy this trip and make sure we don't have any major issues and just have fun. So the last couple of days I decided to cut the A-pillar out. I get the text while I'm at work <laughs> <laughs> that you had cut the pillar off. So this was Sunday. We had planned to go out that week, Saturday. So we had, what, six days? So I was kind of like, what was he thinking <laughs> when I got your text? Um, and just like a true Jabera fashion, I was up till two o'clock last night. So, uh, never fails, I don't know why. But for some reason, before a trip, I just like to uh, stay stuff, up cut stuff super apart. late. <laughs> so. So I ended up cutting out the A pillar. I'll show, we'll probably show some footage or maybe do, um, I did video a lot of it 
I ended up cutting out the whole A pillar and I ended up cutting out the panel. We'll show it when we get to the desert. Put that new panel in, new A pillar, new door. Had to swap over some parts from the other door. shut's nice it opens nice now we still got to get a new rear door it's a little sticky but it works so um yeah it's nice to uh have the truck looking halfway decent again and not have a smashed a pillar and door we're gonna order a new mini fender probably next week uh, now that the A-pillar's fixed. I have a new grill and header panel, so I'm gonna try to get that all mounted before the race. I don't know if we'll have headlights in it, but at least we'll have a grill on the truck again so it doesn't look super odd. We're gonna try to get an oil cooler before the race uh, for the motor, uh, because this motor likes to uh, not necessarily run hot, but uh, typically with bigger horsepower motors, you want to run an oil cooler might add a gauge, a uh, temp gauge to the oil cooler too to see what our oil temperature is at for the motor. I mean, the last time we went testing uh, before Rage at the River, the oil started thinning out um, after we were running pass after pass. So I don't want to hurt the motor just because uh, we didn't add a, some type of oil cooler to it doing that and then I'll be adding another GPS that I bought from my buddy Josh probably about a year and a half ago I'm gonna mount it where the Holly dash currently is right here in front of me I'm gonna move the Holly to the center which is more visible for um, the wife when we're racing and then uh, I'll have a GPS in front of me so if we're in dust I can drive off of that GPS like I used to have the old one back in the day but that's kind of some of the minor changes that are coming.
65. I don't think he broke 70. 10? somewhere and it's not under the truck. We might be pulling the motor. 